Louisiana Beer Review, Sweetwater Whiplash White IPA. It says best before November 26, 2014. They put the date, guys, and that's what people have been asking for. And it's nice to see it. Brewed in Georgia, 6.2% alcohol. The website says 6.3. Little different shape bottle you see at the top. Um, I see all kind of sediment all the way through here in the bottle. Just It looks like a spiral of stuff. Um, interesting. I bought this at Stein's Deli. 55 international bitterness units. Okay, oh, I'm sorry, 6.2. I was looking at something else on the internet for a different beer. Apologize. Two row wheat and flaked oats, and the hops are Bravo, Atanum, Centennial, and Cascade. And the dry hops are Atanum, Centennial, and Simcoe. It gets a very good score on Beer Advocate. Brews haven't. The Brews. The Brothers. <laughs> get it together. The Brothers haven't uh, reviewed it. A 91 out of 100 on Rapier. 85 out of 100 for the style. I must be disoriented because it's already 8.45. I'm usually doing these at 8. So it gets good... You know, B plus up into the A range. I haven't been a fan of white IPAs, frankly, but let's see how this is. It might be nice. Oh, a lot of smoke coming out, but it's going to blow right away with this reinforcing cold front coming through here. Saw that little bit just blow right out of there. Then white head and they, you know, with the sun coming at me, it looks yellow, and that way it's orange. Depends how the sun's hitting it. Uh, yellowish orange, let's say. Lots of bubbles and just sediment galore. Se little tiny white sediment galore. Very sunny. Um. It's nothing but, really, it's just fruity hop resin. I mean, for real, this is like... <sighs> pine, oil, grapefruit type thing. It's None of it's really harsh. It's mild. It, it smells okay. If you like that kind of thing, um, I don't dislike it, but I'm not, like, overwhelmed by it. If I'm going to drink an IPA, I'll probably get something from England. Generally, it's much better to me. It's more authentic, but anyhow. Yeah, it tastes like... Fruit. <laughs> and that's coming from the... Hop Parade. Now, it's not particularly bitter. Okay, so if you're thinking, oh, this is going to be bitter, it's going to be too much for me. No, it's not going to be bitter. It might be too grapefruit, pine, pineapple, like that for you. It is for me. White bread, light to medium mouthfeel, some decent lacing here, a mostly dry finish. It's easy drinking. It's... Um, very carbonated. Well, I don't really like fruit juice a whole lot, and when beers start to taste like fruit juice, then I'm not too thrilled with it. I'm more of a, I don't know, I don't want to get into all this. I just like the more maybe balanced things, but um, if you're, oh, it's sediment glory. I keep saying that, huh? Sediment glory, sediment glory. But if you really like these type of things, you'll love it. I mean, for the style, white IPA, it's probably an A. It's most excellent. For beer overall, I mean, 
give me stone IPA any day. Which is an IPA IPA. <laughs> okay, well, I guess it's a light beer advocate saying very good. It's just uh, I can't rip on something because I don't care for the style. That wouldn't be fair. So if you want a very good beer, then buy this. So, laissez les bon temps relay. If it's your thing, then it's your thing. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to sunny, breezy, and a little bit chilly southeastern Louisiana.